Dang, we're really throwing it back, y'all. Hey, babies, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's been so long since I've actually done another thrifting dupes video. These videos are always super fun on my channel. I did a couple for Urban Outfitters. I did one for Brandy Melville as well. And I asked you guys what some of your favorite, absolute favorite stores are to shop in, where you would still shop even now, and what places would you want me to go ahead and find dupes for? After hundreds of responses by a landslide, Zara seemed to have won. After taking a look at their website, there are so many things on there that I just know. I know that we can find it at the thrift store for so much cheaper and definitely more sustainable too. It's been so long since we did a video like this, so without further ado, come thrift with me for Zara Dupes. Here's my thrift OOTD. Obviously, I just keep it super simple whenever I head on thrifting because now that they don't have change rooms anymore, I just like to try things on on top of what I'm wearing. So I got a black tank top underneath and some high-waisted jeans because these are my favorite jeans. If something doesn't look good with these, it's not gonna look good. <laughs> All right, you guys, I just walked in and let me just say, they restocked the jackets. I'm in jacket heaven. Look at just how many jackets they have here. This is insane. A lot of these jackets are either puffer coats. I see a lot of like leather blazers too. Those are super popular. Jackets with the shirling. Yeah, the shirling is super big and it looks like the motor jackets are coming back too so that's gonna be the kind of stuff i'm keeping an eye out for this jacket right over here with the fur details on the sleeve and on the collar it's a size small and it actually looks super cute and cozy we also have the full teddy coats too this is definitely something that would have been on zara we have a blue one and then there's this neutral one too for sure more like kind of forest going camping vibes i found this like blazer kind of trench coat style as well the best place to actually look for these are in the men's section so i'm gonna head on over there next it's actually kind of crazy to me that even the things that are zara feel so expensive like this it's a cropped denim jacket and it's 24 dollars. why just why something else that's very big in zara is leather jackets and leather blazers Sorry guys, I got the hiccups right now at the most unfortunate time. This one actually looks like it's a smaller size and it can be good. This motor jacket is pretty cool. It's got the fur on the inside, but holy moly, what, what, what is that price? How are you guys? First, I'm really impatient, so I kind of wanted to go ahead and try them on. This first one's such a good length. It's just too small. Like I stretch my arms like this and you can tell there's like no space. Then this one is too big on the other hand because as you can tell, this shoulder area right here is kind of drooping down. This one's really cool, but it's slightly too stiff for me and I really wanted a jacket that's a little bit longer. This jacket's insanely cool. So something you would find at Zara right now, but it's also $70, which is definitely too pricey for me. Okay, have we just found it? Have we just found it? Oh my God. This one's a Danny jacket. It like fits so well. The sleeves are long enough. The shoulder pads sit in the perfect spot and it's a soft leather too that it's not too stiff. You guys, I think we found it. This one is insanely cute too. If you're going for more of that utilitarian trench coat wool, wool coats are all over Zara right now and they're super expensive. This one's 100% wool. I generally don't go for gray, but I'm really into this guys. Oh, and it has that big pocket on the back too. Y'all, this is, this is sick. This one I actually really like a lot too. I tend to gravitate towards the warmer like camel colors and the fur, the fur on these sleeves and on the collar too. Makes it feel and looks super cozy. I just saw a new recommend and these pinstripe pants have my heart. Look at how perfect they are. Definitely high-waisted. They look super comfortable too. And the straight leg in the bottom, perfect Zara dupe. You guys, these pants are everything. They're gonna look so good when they're on. And I really love the pinstripes. So cute. I think we'll head off to women's right now. Sweaters, cardigans, all that fun stuff. Let me just pull up what kind of dupes we're looking for. All right, what do we see here? Lots of square necklines, really fun necklines in general. Some asymmetrical tops, like with one shoulder exposed. Knitwear and cardigans, obviously, it's popular every fall and winter. And obviously the bold pattern sweaters. So I mentioned to you guys the square necklines, exactly like this. This is a cut that I'm noticing a lot on their tops right now. And something else that I see a ton of is stripes. This is an off the shoulder top with some green, black and white striping. We have this brown cardigan here with the pearl detailing oh my gosh this sweater vest is so cute it's like a little mini pink one it's from Esprit, which i love Esprit is like one of my favorite vintage brands this is like most definitely a zara dupe and i feel like with a white sweater under that could be such a cute look you guys aritzia was like second on the list of what you guys wanted to see me thrift if only i found this one then because this is literally a sunday best top it ties at the front i feel like this could be so cute with the tank top under or even a bikini cover up okay and where are the cardigans those like really thick knitted cardigans found the section and it's funny the first item here is already a zara sweater this one is so cute it already looks like it's kind of cropped and i definitely feel like i've seen something like this on there a 
another square neck top this time in a perfect forest green color it does look like it's slightly wide and big so i'm gonna pass on it but if it was my size definitely would have taken it i'm not kidding you guys i really should have done the Aritzia dupes video because look what i just found little terry cloth t-shirts in these sweaters and they're all from tna these are honestly such great basics this sweater is so cute. I'm obsessed with this cardigan. The colors of the knits are everything. I would probably wear it clothes, but this one is so cute. I found my perfect gray wool sweater. It just fits so nicely. It's from the men's section. I'm just imagining it with like some baggy trousers. Baggy all around. I'm just loving this. Super random, but I always love coming here to the kids section and seeing if there's any shoes or sneakers I can add to Aaliyah's collection. And I just found these perfect little navy converse. This is definitely going to be a good size for when she actually starts walking. We're starting off her converse collection just like mine. You guys, I'm not kidding when I say I manifested this. I saw this hat on Urban Outfitters and I wanted it so bad in the green. They also have the baseball cap in the blue. You guys know how much I love baseball caps. They're honestly the best accessories. $7.99 is still so much cheaper than I would be able to find them in store, but manifestation works, you guys. It works. <laughs> okay, so hear me out. If you haven't tried square-toed shoes or boots before, you gotta. I think they're so flattering on the foot. And Zara right now is obviously recreating a ton of shoes just like this. Oh yes, the cowboy boots. Definitely a Zara fave. These ones are actually so nice too. wonder if they're my size. And then this one right here is such a good Zara dupe too. Oh my gosh, I actually love this one. And like faux leather, this tote is everything. Currently in the outerwear vests, I've been seeing vests kind of take over. Everything's been coming back in such a rush. And there's basically three kind of vests I've been noticing a ton on Zara. Those are fleece vests, puffer vests, and the suit vests. So here's an example of like the fleece vest. These are the ones that are obviously more camper vibes, super cozy. Then you got a ton of puffer vests too. A lot of them were actually cropped just like this. And then the last kind of vest that I've been seeing a ton of are the suit vests. Sorry, it's super noisy in the back, but if you are more petite size, you can try your luck in the kids section. Specifically the boys, wherever you have suits, usually they come in like a set of three. Obviously some of them are like super small, but some of them may work if you want it to be more of a tight fitting top. Or the other option is to check out the vest in the men's. There's actually not that many options because I feel like a lot of people are hopping on this. But look, $7 versus almost $80, $90 at the store. Something else that was super popular from last year, as you guys know, is sweater vests. And honestly, I had a love-hate relationship with them. And then I just realized it's not that I don't like the sweater vests. I just didn't really like the way that I saw them styled. But I've started to like play around with different types of sweater vests. And honestly, I've really come to appreciate the way they look. Love these colors for the fall and the winter. All right, dupes for Zara bottoms. We got wide leg pants. We got trousers. We got flare jeans. Lots of leather too for sure. And a lot of that like really baggy satiny look if you know what I mean. Lots of faux leather too. Mimicking that Molina pant from Aritzia if you know what I'm talking about. Okay not a ton of selection when it came to bottoms but I will show you a few that I found. The leather pants I already mentioned to you guys. These actually do look like they may fit me and they're super thick too so I love those. And then the other two bottoms I found were just a pair of trousers to show you guys that you can find so many trousers here in the women's section. Pants from a really long time ago they used to wear them really high-waisted anyway so if you find vintage trousers here they're most likely already high-waisted which is definitely the fit that Zara's been doing a lot right now I found a pair in this really nice honey beige color too but these leather ones for $12 what a find with winter coming around Zara introduced like a ton of new sweaters but I couldn't help but wonder a lot of these sweaters gave off very grandpa vibes so here in the men's sweaters I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to find sweaters with those patterns Honestly, you guys, the more I'm like looking through the Zara website, the more I'm seeing that everything on there is like recycled fashion trends, things that were popular like five years ago, 10 years ago, it's all coming back. And the thing is with stores like Zara, they love their micro trends. Like their whole goal is to make you guys go shopping every couple of weeks and get yourself some new things. So the one thing that I do want you guys to keep in mind when doing this, make sure that you're only shopping for trends on Zara that you genuinely like and that you feel like are gonna last you a long time. You're gonna wear it for a long time. In the past, I realized that I really didn't like the way I dressed because I was like so focused on micro trends all the time. And while it's always okay to experiment with new things and figure out what's your personal style, you do want to make sure that you're really buying things that you feel like you're going to rewear five weeks from now, five months from now, maybe even five years from now. Guys, that was not only a successful thrift trip, but a fun one. We actually found some amazing things. I got to say the accessories are definitely my favorite. Like the shearling tote bag and you guys, 
best deal ever the boots didn't have a price on them so when i went to the lady and i said there was no price she's like okay 9.99 these are ten dollars and they fit me perfectly and this brown color is beautiful they're like perfectly worn in too so they're actually comfy i spent about 70 dollars today on everything that i got keep in mind a lot of the things that i show you i didn't end up buying because i'm trying to be a more conscious shopper and while these videos are meant to inspire i only want to buy the things that are realistic to me be sure to give this video a really big thumbs up if you guys want to see me do another thrifting dupes video and comment down below which store i should do next i know aritzia was super popular h&m a lot of people said too but let me know down below what you guys want to see so subscribe down below to join the hey fam if you haven't already we're trying out a new family name guys i love the sound of hey fam h for Haley, a for Aaliyah, e for Eran. hey fam it, it just sounds so good i love you guys forever and always thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next one i'd blow a kiss but my hands are not clean so